Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time and I'm sorry about the hair. Um, I've had a lot on at university so I've not had much time to get things uh, recorded and get things done and ideas. You know how it is when you get busy. Today I'm going to be looking at the Asus A17, the TUF, again, uh, the gaming laptop. As promised, I'm going to be looking into changing the battery from the 48 watt hour battery to the 90 watt hour battery. I'm also going to be looking at changing the RAM and the hard drive or SSD. So first off, we're going to use my lovely new wow stick that I got for Christmas and remove every screw that I can see. The thing that I like most about this laptop is the fact that the whole panel comes off and you get access to the entire laptop. The first thing to do is get this uh, little guitar pick like thing uh, come in all sorts of kits and just run around the bottom of the plastic and pop it out. The whole base comes off just like that and you have access to everything. The fans are quite dusty, so Asus's claim that it is self-cleaning is a pile of rubbish. I'd recommend giving them a quick clean while you've got the bottom cover off. We're going to start off with the most important part, the battery. I'm going to be replacing this 48 watt hour battery with this official Asus 90 watt hour battery, which should fit in there somewhere, um, that way round. Um, and I think it goes sort of like that. But we'll see how that goes. Um, so initially, of course, with the bigger battery, you don't have this hard drive slot here. So that needs to be removed. Then the next, we look at the battery. The battery is then removable. Just push that clip out of there. So that cable comes straight off. Make sure when you get your replacement battery that everything looks the same. This then slots in there. Oh, it fits perfectly. It just it feels like it slots into place. So we've got screw there, there, there. And that one isn't used, obviously. Next, we're going to look at the SSD. So we've taken off this slot here. So obviously you can't put that back in there. So you can't upgrade using that. Um, if you wanted to keep with a small battery and you've got this slot here, you put your, I'll show you with a hard drive, you can get SSDs, 2.5 inch SSD as well. Pop that in there, screw, 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 screw. And then the laptop will have come with a little cable that clips into here, this little socket here. You flip that black pin up there, slide it in, prop it down, plug the other end into there and it fits nice and neatly in there. Obviously I can't do that, but I can still expand my storage. Now, initially, it comes with this SSD here. So that's nice and neatly wrapped up. Um, there we are, we can pull it out. It is an Intel branded CPU. That's the one it comes with. You can replace that if you wish. However, you don't need to. You can also put one in here. I don't have one to demonstrate, but as you can see here, we've got a screw for it to screw into. Don't do that. Screw for it to screw into, and it slots into there. So you can have two full-size M.2 SSDs in there. The other thing that you can upgrade is the RAM. So again, that is as simple as flicking these two so your RAM comes out, don't touch the pins, and then popping your new RAM in. Now I believe that this board will support up to 32 gig, but I might be wrong. Sometimes it takes a bit of a press to press it down. But that is effectively it. Very short, very simple video on how to upgrade RAM, SSD storage and battery in your Asus TUF laptop. So I hope you find that useful. Um, I'm just gonna say regarding the battery, the battery life has increased massively. 
Um, I can run a video constantly for about eight hours now, whereas before it would only do sort of two or three hours. So much, much better battery. Um, it's very good for if you're doing a lot of production stuff. I was doing Adobe Premiere Pro editing for about an hour and it only used 15% battery, which was really, really good compared to what it was before, where that would have used about half of it. I'll just quickly show you some uh, some of the battery graphs just so you get an idea of how it's looking. Sorry, I didn't get a, a, a copy of the graph for the previous battery to compare against, uh, but you can run your own uh, battery graph by running this command here on PowerShell or Command Prompt. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful uh, and it might have swayed you to getting a brand new 90 watt hour battery for your new gaming laptop. If you have any more ideas or advice on my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you want to know when I'm posting again. Thank you.